All right, what's up, everybody? We're back at you with another beer review. It's Dave, Mark, and Maury. Uh, today, Dave brought over one from Phantom Carriage. Uh, this is Mortal Wood, and the front here says a blend of blonde, lambic-inspired vintages. It says Mortal Wood represents the continued efforts of Phantom Carriage to craft and hone its sour barrel-aged beer program. This beer is a melange of aged lambic style ales that were finished in white wine barrels and then blended to give a complex and layered flavor profile. So, I don't know if it has the ABV on here. Six percent? Yeah, six percent even. I know when I, uh, you know, got this beer, uh, the fella sent me the actual, like, you had to order them. And it was one per person. So, oh, wow. I mean, he was nice enough to, like, cough up his one. <laughs> yeah, um, that is nice. But uh, nice. this... It, he, it said on there it was a blend of a one-year, a two-year, and a three-year Lambic, and then they blend those okay. together. So it is a, a blended kind of American Lambic. So. Oh, boy. Oh, that's nice, wow. dude. It has a little bit of funk there. It's yeah, maybe bit. not as funky as your typical Belgian Lambic, but that aroma is nice. I do get a little white wine, too. Yeah, on there's still white wine. Nice notes. Yeah. Some mineral. I get like a kind of like a mineral note. I mean, not, you know, we'll say like 3F levels mm. of mineral, but uh, it's it's nice. Digging the carb. Digging mm -hmm. the color. Beautiful yep. color. Yeah, the color is just real, like, nice and kind of cloudy. Little oh. wet straw hay character going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. There's got a little bit of a. You got the grape, like the grape the aroma. Yep. You got a little bit of touch of like maybe peaches even. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I get kind of like a peach again. I, you know, off at least I said it in the previous reviews. Yeah. I almost get a little bit of a strawberry <laughs> off of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I'm getting I, a white grape. Yeah, sure. I definitely get a white grape, stuff. and I think they did say that they finished mm. the blend in white wine barrels. So I mean that yes. can account for it. Yeah. Oh, it's you know I almost get like a carbon or a carbonate a cabernet type or I'm sorry a chardonnay type of character off yeah. of it rather. Cheers. Oh wow. wow that's geez. a good beer. Well, well that's killer. I gotta say though, it drinks more like a saison than it, it does. It's a super light. It does. I mean, yeah. it yep. don't taste like a lambic, but it does taste awesome. Yeah. It does. Yeah, yeah. I would say if we were doing this blind, I would say, wow, this is a great, awesome saison. Saison. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it drinks like a saison for sure. You know, here's the thing though. I feel like if you're an American brewery, it's damn hard to nail it the is. lambic style. Oh, like absolutely. I don't even know if you really can technically. It's close, but. You know, again, I, I've never had a, a beer brewed in the United States that really has 100% nailed that lambic mm. flavor. Right. Um, this has a nice blend of sweetness and tartness, oh, yes. though. It, it has a nice good. sweetness yeah. in the yeah. middle, and then there's a tart, dry finish. Nice, I think it's yeah, a nice pillowy mouthfeel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's tart, it's crisp, refreshing. The only grace for it that I feel is putting it even remotely close to being called a lambic is it does have for me that kind of like minerally like taste it does. To it. I, I get a little bit of that but here's the thing I get uh, I get more farmhouse ale in the form of me also that like white grape is right yeah. there. Yes, it's it is. yeah follows the nose wood and white mm -hmm. grape and I do get kind of like a um, like a sharp little bite that kind of reminds me of like a lambic as well. Like, yeah, but there is a that, sharpness to it. But, but, but yeah. other than that, I'm not, I'm getting, you know, almost like if you blended a lambic 20% with 80% farmhouse ale. Like that's kind of what I'm getting out of this mm -hmm. beer. But holy cow, is it good though? It's yeah, very good. It's, it's, it's a real solid beer. Okay, so for the uh, Mortal Wood from Phantom Carriage, I'm easily at a four and a half on this thing. I'm almost bordering a four seven five. Uh, if they didn't call it a lambic, I think I might be yeah, at a four yes. seven five. But you know, it's a great beer. You know, farmhouse. It, you know, like I said, it's it's got like a blended flavor of almost like some farmhouse saison characteristics. You know, uh, you know, a couple lambic characteristics and even a Belgian golden nail. Um, and it's just delicious. There's nothing at all off-putting about this mm -hmm. beer. It, it, it's, ju it's just so well-made. And the fact that it's blended and then finished, 
I mean, I'm si I'm sitting easily, easily at a four and a half on this, and like I said, I'm I'm really almost leaning four seven five. Well, I'm gonna go with a four seven five. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to think of things reasons why not to give. It <laughs> yeah, seven, if you got to think of reasons not I mean, to give it the yes, four seven I mean, five, it's, yeah, it's so delicious, mm -hmm. perfectly balanced. You got the nice prickly carbonation. Yeah. Um, the Venus notes are coming through, and there's a nice gentle uh, sweetness that just balances it all mm -hmm. out, and it just makes it a near perfect saison lambic yeah. <laughs> i mean damn it you me into a pile i know Three, yeah, four, four seven, seven five. five you're right you're right so, uh, you're right all right yeah four seven five <laughs> all right i'm gonna stick with the four and a half although this is delicious Ooh. and for the reason yes. that dave said initially i i feel like to be called a lambic if they wouldn't have went there yeah i would be at a four seven five mm -hmm. but they did go there it doesn't have it does have some subtle lambic qualities mm -hmm. but like dave said earlier in the review i was thinking it right from the poor i I mean, this brewery right here, we've had two beers from them now. They've nailed both They've both, of both them. been absolutely killer. I never heard of them before you brought that Me beer either. over. I've been so thoroughly impressed. I mean, this beer belongs up there to yes. be talked about with Side Project and Sarah Easy. and Casey Hill and Hill Farmstead. I mean.